Hi, I'm Colin Gillespie and I'm an Associate Professor at Newcastle University and also a consultant at Jumping Rivers. Welcome to the Efficient R programming course. R has an unfortunate reputation for being slow. While it is certainly true that in a competition of raw speed with a language like C, R would come in a distant second, this is an unfair comparison to make. Instead, the total programming time is made up of three components. Thinking, coding and running. In many statistical analyses, you want to try multiple algorithms. Therefore, you want the thinking and coding parts to be optimised. And this is our strength. By the time you've loaded your data into R, created a scatter plot and fitted a regression line, a friendly C programmer would have just launched their code editor and would be checking Stack Overflow for how to read in a CSV file. We use R because it's good with statistics. However, with the advent of big data and complex statistical algorithms, you may have to optimise your code. Before you jump straight in at the deep end, you should remember what Donald Knuth said. Premature optimization is the root of all evil. That is, only optimise when necessary. Before you finish this introduction, there is one simple optimization you should ensure you use. Keep R up to date. New versions of R rarely break code. In fact, I have R code from the turn of the century that still works. New versions of R often provide speed boosts, such as improved handling of data frames. So your code just goes a little bit faster. Version 2.13 introduced byte compiling for speeding up functions. And version 3 supported large vectors. Just by upgrading, your code runs faster. Main R releases happen every April, with smaller incremental updates occurring throughout the year. In the following exercise, you'll see how to check which version of R you run.